This is Darwin Nunes, Liverpool's £85 million summer signing last season. Signing on the same day as Erling Haaland caused a huge competition between the two to see who could become the greatest goal scorer in the Premier League. And unfortunately for Darwin Nunes, his time here at Liverpool didn't start off as well as he'd hoped. Nervous in training, missing home and being homesick. Having not yet learnt the language, he found it hard to adapt and fit in with the rest of the team, which caused a lot of problems in communication when it came to being on the pitch. Whereas Haaland excelled in this as he was born in England and he was able to take on that challenge a lot better with Haaland going and scoring a massive amount of goals in the Premier League and Darwin Nunes only managing to get 15 goals in all competitions in his first season at Liverpool whereas Haaland was able to score 52 in all competitions winning the treble with his team lifting the Champions League the Premier League and the FA Cup what could Darwin Nunes produce in his second season at Liverpool? I have to step up my game this season. We need to show what we can do. I know you have the quality. We need to win Europa League. You are a born goal scorer, Darwin. This is your time to show the world. Virgil is right. This is your chance. With the support of his teammate and his manager, Darwin Nunez's performances improved. His training got better and better as the season began, and they cruised through some of the first Premier League fixtures with style, heading into the Europa League and getting his first goal for the club this season in the Europa League group stages. And from there, his form started to improve, and he started getting a couple of goals, and the the Europa League was, was going okay, the team playing well in most of the games and as you can see here they cruised through the first group stage game with a 3-1 victory against LASK. But with a tough fixture congestion, it was difficult to keep the momentum. Although Nunes was able to start getting a bit of form and scoring some goals, the team's overall performance came in at a 1-1 draw. And then the game after that was the same. Nunes managing to score another goal, but it wasn't enough for the team to get the victory as we finished up there with another 1-1 draw. The team slightly disappointed with their results so far in the Europa League. Darwin, are you okay? I am not performing at my best. I know I can do better. And Nunes trying his hardest to put the team in front here as we progress on through to the remaining Europa League group stage games. Luis Diaz getting a goal here to make it 1-0 in this fixture. But the team just couldn't quite get the performances we need. And once again, a late goal from Union saw them coming out with a draw and the point. And the next fixture was a loss to LASK, leaving us one fixture remaining in the group stage games. Sitting in third place with six points. One win would see us go top if the other two teams didn't quite make it. And Nunes thought to himself, he needs to improve. He needs to get goals. He needs to show everyone why he is the best striker in the world. And as we came into our final Europa League group stage game here against Toulouse, Nunes switched on the style, scored one in the back of the net there with style, with pace and power. And he does it again on the volley. Another great goal for Nunes going 2-0 up in this one. And a really good Good performance from Darwin Nunes looking for a hat trick, but it wasn't meant to be. And as you can see, we did end up finishing top of the Europa League Group E over in the Premier League. Nunes's performances as top goal scorer in the league were not going unnoticed. He was slowly being recognized as a world-class striker and we head into the final of the Carabao Cup where we take on Arsenal here at Wembley Stadium with Nunes looking for one of his first trophies as a Liverpool player and an early chance here in the second minute with a fantastic shot and Nunes scoring a world-class goal from 30 yards out showing everyone what he can do up front and showing the Liverpool fans what kind of striker he can be and hitting twice the double there getting another goal and a brace against Arsenal even though they did score a goal he's pulling it back and Bernardo Silva getting a goal for himself as well making it 3-1 in this game and Liverpool coming away with a victory 3-2 at full time in Carabao Cup with a great team performance and two goals for Nunes. So Darwin, how does it feel to win? It feels amazing. I want to bring more success to Liverpool. Now we set our sights on the Europa League. Darwin, your performance today was next level. Thank you. I couldn't do it without this team. Great work today, lads. Let's take this form into Europe. 
Heading into the Europa League knockout stages, the team was confident up here against FC Copenhagen and Nunez's form was on fire, scoring the first goal of this one to make it 1-0 and not long after that, sprinting through on goal, taking it round his man and putting it in the back of the net to make it 2-0 in the first leg and grabbing the team a very vital victory. Nunez scoring and becoming the top goal scorer in the Europa League so far this season. Man of the match again, eh? Keep it up, Mr. Goalscorer. <laughs> Thank you, Bernardo. I just need a hat trick now. And with that performance, we head on into the second leg against FC Copenhagen. Nunes scoring a world-class free kick here, drawing level on the scoreline on the day. And then Liverpool pushing forward once again. Jones there with a back post cross to Nunes with what a volley on his left foot, making it 2-1 here to Liverpool. Looking like they're going to be progressing into the quarterfinals with ease. And Nunes here looking for his hat trick. And look at this finish. Just dinks it past the goalkeeper, not standing a chance. And we've come away with a very huge 3-2 victory to push us through into the next round of the Europa League and Darwin Nunes claiming his match ball here. My first hat-trick of the season. I cannot believe it. Darwin, outstanding out there today. Now, we need to win the league. World class yet again, Darwin. Keep it up, brother. We progress through the knockout stages of the Europa League and into the final day of the Premier League season. Finishing top of the table, if we get a win here, we will win the Premier League and Nunez sitting top of the goal scorers as well. Netting an easy penalty here against Wolverhampton Wanderers, looking to get the three points and seal the victory on the final day of the season. Another penalty awarded here for Liverpool. And it looks like Nunez is going to score this to become the Premier League's top goal scorer for the season, beating Haaland and beating every other player in the league to the top goal scorer award and Liverpool coming away with a 2-1 victory and they cannot believe it they have won the Premier League and as we said before the Europa League quarterfinals was a win against West Ham and then the semi-finals against Stad Rennes as we head on into the final against Roma which we're going to be taking on on neutral ground looking to get our first European trophy of the season can we do this and win it and head possibly into the Champions League next season Darwin Nunes taking it on using his form and his skill and his ability to score the first goal in this Europa League final. A very nice goal from Nunes. Looking to get another one here as he breaks away in the second half. Shooting from distance, but the goalkeeper making a great save. Diaz picks it up, back heels it to Nunes, who back heels it to Baradi, who goes and scores as well in the 51st minute, and we go and take a 2-0 lead, with Roma scoring in the 78th minute, but it wasn't enough as Liverpool are crowned Europa League champions. Nunes there, the man scoring all the goals required to win the Premier League, win the Europa League and the Carabao Cup. What a season it has been for Darwin Nunes putting in a Ballon d'Or worthy performance. But even with winning the treble, Nunes wasn't satisfied. There was still one trophy eluding him in his career, and it was the UEFA Champions League. It is something he wanted, and this next season could possibly bring that success to his career. As you can see, heading into the Champions League this next season, we've got three wins out of three against Napoli, Galatasaray, and Rangers, and then grabbing another nine points to top the group here in the Champions League as we head on into the Ballon d'Or ceremony for the year. And who would have thought the winner of this year's Ballon d'Or goes to Darwin Nunes, scoring in the Premier League, winning the Premier League, the Europa League, and the Carabao Cup. This man here has proven everyone wrong with one bad season. He has turned it around and become the Ballon d'Or winner of this year's ceremony. And what a proud moment this is for Darwin Nunes. His hard work has paid off. He started to learn the language and he got over his homesickness. And now he's become one of the greatest players in the world with the one a trophy still eluding him which is the Champions League with his aims and his sights set on the Champions League this season can he produce the results in the next couple of fixtures as we head on into the knockout stages of the Champions League against Bayern Munich here away from home and Darwin Nunes showing up to the party with a chip goal past Neuer over the defender and into the back of the net to grab Liverpool a vital 1-0 win here against Bayern Munich in the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League the players 
filled with confidence and filled with the possibility, the thoughts of winning the Champions League this season. Back at Anfield now, the second game, 1-0 up on aggregate against Bayern Munich and Nunes there scoring an easy goal and showing everyone how he is the best player in the world. Liverpool drawing 1-1 here but winning on aggregate as we progress on into the quarterfinals against Newcastle. We are away from home at St. James's Park and we all know this is a tough place to come but Nunes doesn't phase him there laying it off to Harvey Elliott who takes it round his man and puts it in the back of the net to draw level here in the first leg against Newcastle but they had scored another goal Nunes there trying to get one back and he does bringing it back to 2-2 in this game but just as we thought we'd won this one Newcastle ended up getting another goal late on and winning the game 3-2 which meant we had to win our next game against them in the second leg at home to be able to progress on through the Champions League into the knockouts and possibly into the final, but it wasn't going to be an easy one, not at all. We cannot get complacent now. We are so close to the final. We play at Anfield next. The crowd will be with us. 3-2 down on aggregate and Liverpool take on Newcastle for the second time in the Champions League this season. Can we progress through this quarterfinals? Nunes here taking the ball forward, cutting it round this man and putting it in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this fixture and 3-3 on aggregate. But Newcastle weren't going to sleep yet and they are pushing forward with chances as well as Nunes. But he takes his chance forward. What a goal that is from Darwin Nunes from distance to make it 2-0 to Liverpool and 4-3 on aggregate. Newcastle do happen to bring one back here but Darwin Darwin Nunes is not done and he goes and chucks another one in the back of the net to win the game. The semi-final won't be easy. Dortmund are tough. We got this Darwin. Our team is strong. You're right. We are strong. Let's do this. As we edge closer and closer to the elusive Champions League final, we must get past a very tough Dortmund side who have worked hard to be here in the Champions League semi-final. But a chance coming forward for Hoiberg, making it 1-0 early on in this game for Liverpool in the 23rd minute. The fans go absolutely nuts here in Liverpool. They can feel it. They can sense that the final will be with us sooner. Nunes with a chance to make it too, but it's just gone wide. And that game ends 1-0 on the scoreline away from home taking a 1-0 lead into the second leg. And as we head back to Anfield once again to take on Dortmund at home, we have got every chance to head to the final. An early second half penalty from Darwin Nunes makes it 2-1 on the score after Dortmund had taken the lead. But Liverpool were pushing forward to seal the victory there. Carvalho laying it through to Darwin Nunes who puts it in. And it looks like it sealed the victory here for Liverpool. And there goes the final whistle. Nunes getting another two goals and we head on into the Champions League final against Benfica. Unable to win the Premier League this season but the top goal scorer in the Champions League is Darwin Nunes. And here he is ready for his moment. Ready for his final against Benfica can he produce on the biggest day of his life he's already won what there is to win except for the Champions League in England can he do it the best player in the world the best striker in the world Darwin Nunes getting a ball there from Saka and what a volley that was from Darwin Nunes making it 1-0 here to Liverpool against Benfica in the first half and a great ball from Saka meant Darwin Nunes could score a world-class volley and we head on into the final fixture of the season can we get another goal there a back heel showing off his class and Darwin Nunes making it 2-1 in this game and winning the Champions Champions League final with Liverpool for the first time in his career. Darwin Nunes becoming the best striker in the world, the best player in the world. Winning the Ballon d'Or, winning the Champions League, the Europa League, the Carabao Cup and the Premier League. What a season this has been. If you guys have enjoyed this one, please give us a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.